Oh, big chiefs from the clouds, answer me. Geronimo, sitting bull. It's Pocahontas. Oh, rain in the face, please pierce the veil. Oh, big chiefs from the clouds, speak to me. Uh, don't somebody want to talk to me? Sure, me talk. Uh, who, 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 who are you? Me, big chief standing fine. Well, uh, where, where, where are you standing fine? Right beside you, pale face. Uh, have you got a message for me? Look in crystal ball. What you see. Nothing. Look some more. You see now, big vein of gold in ground, heap plenty gold. You see? Yes, I think I do. You go get heap big fortune in gold, big nuggets. Uh, where? Thirteen paces due east from Cortez Rock on south side stone mountain you dig 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 hey, hey wait a minute uh, tell me more standing pine uh, oh, 13 paces to the side of cortez rock <laughs> Cortez Rock. The Indian spirit ain't never fooled me yet. <clears throat> oh. Now, let me see. Thirteen paces east. Yeah, that's easy. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, no, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, ten, eight, eleven, one dozen, thirteen.
reach for this guy. Why, you bandy-legged little scarecrow. What are you doing trespassing on my claim? Oh, I ain't trespassing, mister. I just viewing the view. You know how to fill you so full of bullets they could work you for a lead mine. I'm sorry, I ain't doing nothing. My Indian guide told me to come up here. Well, where's that red skin? I'll pump him full of holes, too. I couldn't. Uh, he, he's already in the happy hunting ground. Hey, are you trying to make a fool out of me? No, it's the truth. He's my psychic spirit. He tells me a lot of things about the future and such. Hey, wait a minute. Ain't you Fuzzy Q. Jones from Showdown Flat? The fellow that tells all the other people what's going to happen before it does? Yep, that's me, the great Jones. <laughs> shake hands, chum. I'm Lord Finner. Glad to shake the hand of a great man like you, say Fuzzy. Mm -hmm. Maybe that Indian pal of yours could tell me where I could dig up a little gold dust on this claim. Oh, uh, ain't you found none yet? Not enough to fill a gnat's tooth. Well, that's too bad. Uh, uh, Standing Pine, that's my guide. Uh, he didn't say nothing about there being any gold on this here mountain. Oh, well, he didn't, huh? Well, I might as well give up working this claim. Because if you say they ain't gold, there ain't. Because you sure know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, see, I, I kind of like the view from up here. Uh, how much will you take for this property? Oh, let me see. I'm a sort of a sentimental cuss. I've put a lot of sweat into this claim. And I kind of like the view myself. But, uh, well, if you'll fork over 50... Fifty dollars? Sold, Mr. Fenner. The price is $50,000. Hey, you crazy? Yeah. Just so crazy that I think you know something that I don't. Now, that's the price. Pay it or get off of my property. Well, now, uh, couldn't we talk this over? Uh, yeah, for 50000 Now, get going. And don't come back until you can put the money on the barrel head. But, uh... Listen. I ain't killed a guy in over a week. And I wouldn't trust you with myself if I was you. Now get out of here. All right, all right. But just trying to overcharge me for this big old piece of nothing around here, you'll probably break your arm. That's what you'll do. Get them! And sure enough, just as Fuzzy said, I shipped my cattle to Carson City and I got four dollars more ahead. The man's uncanny, I tell you. That ain't nothing. The man told me I'd strike at risk just by staking a claim in Alder Gulch. And I'll wager it'll pay off. Like the United States Mint. <laughs> Here comes Mr. Jones now. Nice to me. No, that's all you deserve it. You're the biggest man in these parts. Yes, sirree. <laughs> uh, Mr. Jones, when would be a good time to sow my crops? Oh, about first. First what? Well, first chance you get. <laughs> <laughs> Think I'll be getting hits this year, Fuzz. <laughs> I, I never mess in domestic affairs. It ain't safe. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, Fuzz. You put Ralph Emery onto a pretty fine gold mine. How about letting the rest of us in on something good? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Now, wait a minute, fellas. I was going to... Uh... Nope. That ain't no good. What ain't no good? Tell us about it anyway. Oh, well, this is too big. Uh, even for me to handle. I just don't know how to do it. You mean you can't figure things out with that wonderful brain of yours? Uh, this, this is different. Well, how'd you figure out these other things? Well, uh, that's my secret. Well, I ain't getting nosy, but why don't you figure this big deal out the same way? Hey, maybe you got something there. Uh, maybe you have. Maybe you have. Well, I was just suggesting, that's all. Well, fellas, I gotta go. I got work to do. Uh, just a minute. How about buying you a little drink? No, oh, I'm in a hurry. All right, well, goodbye, Fuzzy. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Hey, Fuzzy, you gonna start riding now.
Calling Standing Pine. Calling Standing Pine. Come in, Standing Pine. Standing Pine speaks. Pine. Say, everything is just like you said. There's plenty of gold, but there's another fellow who owns it. Everything okay. You buy from fella. Me tell how. Gee, who look, is you, you will? You listen careful. You got plenty friends. They help buy Stone Mountain. They give money to you. You give all friends chance to make money. Everybody get rich. Plenty rich. Savvy? Yeah, me savvy. Uh, that, that's a swell idea. Listen more. You don't tell no one where it's gold until you get deed. Oh, no, Standing Pine. That's the secret of ours. You plenty smart fella. Well, I know it's standing fine, but this is such a big proposition, I'm going to send for my pal. He's got brains. You help me swing the deal. Of course, I won't tell him anything about the claim until everything is jig. Who is friend? Uh, Billy Carson. Billy Carson? Him no friend, him bad medicine. Don't trust nobody. Yeah, but I can't do it alone. I'm going to send for him anyhow. You send, maybe he never get here. Oh, yes, he will. He knows how to take care of himself. Okay, okay, trance all over, standing pine. Hey, hey, standing pine, hey, I got a couple more things I want to tell you. Uh, uh, I wonder if he belongs to the Union. stupid little runt wants to send for Billy Carson. Billy Carson? Well, that's the guy that owned us out of Dodge City. Yeah, I know. Well, what'd you tell him? Well, I had to say okay, but I sort of warned him that his pal might not get here. Emery, you're a regular prophet yourself. <laughs> Pull up a chair. <laughs> Give me three cards. have a chance to reach his hardware until it was too late. Well, we better hurry. According to where we last saw him, he should be through Sawtooth Pass by now. Yeah. Cover it up. Put a little sagebrush over it. Oh, don't worry about it. He won't see nothing. Boys, this is it. Get ready. Intend to do about it. Well, he may have outsmarted us this time, but I'll get him yet. Well, you better hurry and do it fast, Nord. I don't like the looks of this. Come on. Oh, here he is now. Oh. 
Well, I'm sorry, boys, but I'm just closing up. Now, see here, Mr. Wilson. Three days ago, I asked you for a loan on my spread. How come I ain't getting action? Well, it takes time to arrange things like this. You know, drawing up papers and such. Well, I can't be fussing around waiting for that. I want to get in on Fuzzy Jones' proposition. Me too. So do I. That's a better bet than a faro bank. Now, just a minute, gentlemen. I'm going to try and accommodate all of you, but this is going to take a little time. Well, Fuzzy ain't going to wait while we daddle around. Now, pardon me, boys. Hey, Mr. Wilson, here's the deed on that south 160 acres of mine. I'd like to borrow about $10,000 on it. I'll give you my personal note as well. Well, I think this could be worked out, Mr. Reed, but it'll take a little time. By the way, Mr. Reed, are you going into this proposition of fuzzies? You darn right I am. Well, now, I, if I were you, I'd investigate this a little further. I wouldn't rush into this blindly. Now, see here, Mr. Wilson, you're a banker and naturally a cautious man. Fuzzy Jones is a lucky man. I'm taking his advice. Me too. He's psychic. He knows what's going to happen before it happens. I'd hate to sit in a poker game with him. He'd know every card for his deal. <laughs> <laughs> he still would. Fuzzy told me he made a strike that's the granddaddy of all gold strikes. And if he needs any backing, I'm climbing on his wagon. Hey, here comes Fuzzy now. Yeah, hey, 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 hello, hello, hello. Ah, uh, shucks, ain't nothing gonna happen to me if there was, wouldn't I know it? Well, that's right, boys. Right. You can see into the future. Right. <laughs> well, 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 easy there. And say, don't forget to save me a piece of that proposition of yours, will you? Until yeah. I get my cash? Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, wait a minute, boys. Uh, don't crowd me. I'm forming a big organization. And you're all welcome as soon as things get right. Well, that's fine. Uh, well, well, don't well, don't well, forget well, me, now. Well. Yeah, and when it is, we'll be on hand to pick the plum. Providing that Billy Carson don't upset the apple cart. Don't worry, he won't. Listen, listen, huh? I gotta pick up some grub and get back to my diggings. Why don't you fellows leave me alone for a while? <laughs> Mr. Jones. Oh, hello, Tom. Say, you better start building a bigger bank. This little old thing ain't gonna hold all the gold I'm gonna dig up. <laughs> to be sure, to be sure. But confidentially, I could save you a lot of trouble. That is, I, uh, I could let you have the whole 50,000. Uh, you mean that I should shut out all my friends? Then you and I could split even. Nothing doing. There's plenty of room for everybody, and I ain't playing no favorites. Well, just as you say. But remember, a banker likes to make money, too. Yeah. I'm right glad to see you. Glad to be here. Almost didn't make it. Well, come on in. I got plenty to tell you. Well, first, what are you so all fired in a hurry to see me? You in trouble again? Me? No. <laughs> I'm in the blue chips this time proper. You and me is practically millionaires. Yeah, what'd you do? Make a strike of fool's gold? Hey, I'll show you something that'll make your mouth water. Look at that. See if you call it fool's gold. That's a real McCoy, Fuzz. Where'd you get it? I can't tell you that, but uh, where it came from, there's a heap of it big enough to build a state with it. That's interesting, Fuzz. Now, how do I fit into the picture? 
Well, I find this claim, but the uh, fellow who owns it... So, uh, it's not yours, then? Uh, not yet, but it's going to be. Uh, you see, he don't know there's gold all over the place. Blind, huh? Oh, of course not. He, he just don't know what I know. So we're going to buy it for $50,000. $50,000? And he doesn't know what he has? Ha! Huh. Don't make me laugh, Fuzzy. Oh, he's just sentimental. And besides that, he's a nut. Well, you can include me out. I haven't got $50,000 to be buying gold mines from crazy people. Well, you don't have to have. All you've got to do is help me organize the Fuzzy Q. Jones Company in your rim. I'm in. And where are you going to get your money? Well, everybody in Showdown Pass is willing to back me, including Tom Wilson at the bank. Have they seen the property? Never one, but uh, just believe in me. Believe in you? Why? To uh, tell you the truth, I, I hate to admit it, Billy. Of course, you know I'm modest. But all of a sudden, I suddenly became psychic. You know, that's when you can see into the future. Now tell me about this, this gift of yours, Fuzzy. Go ahead. Well, about a month ago, this thing sneaks up on me. I begin to hear voices. Hear voices? Where? In the air, in my head, everywhere. Uh, Standing Pine told me where I could find this big claim. Standing Pine? Who's Standing Pine? Uh, he's my Indian guide. He, he, he's a spirit. A spirit? Fuzz, you better keep that cork in the bottle. Those spirits are going to get you into trouble. Ah, uh, you old hypocrite. <clears throat> I can't help it if I'm the seventh son of the seventh son of the seventh son. <laughs> That's a lot of sevens, Fuzz. Uh, I should have known better than to send for you in the first place. Now, now, keep your shirt on. I'm going to get you out of this mess. I ain't no mess. Well, whether you are or not, you got to tell me the whole story. I'm going to walk right out of here. I can't. I promised. Promised? Promised who? Standing pine. So you're not going to tell me, huh? Positively, no. Well, I'm going to go, Fuzz. When that lynching party gets ready to singe those whiskers, you can call for me. to Columbus, too. Nobody laugh at you. You plenty smart fellow. Go get money quick. But don't tell nothing to Billy Carson. He gum things up bad for you. You doggone right I won't tell him, Standing Pine. And thanks for the tip. Tip-top, Mr. Reed. I'm glad to see you again. Yeah. What are you doing in Showdown Flats? Oh, just sort of nosing around. Oh, Billy, this is Kitty. You remember her, don't you? Kitty? Why, sure, Miss Reed. Last time I saw you, you were knee-high to a prairie dog. <laughs> Billy used to ramrod the old Circle G for me. I've heard Dad speak a lot about you, Mr. Carson. Yeah? Good or bad? Well, your ears didn't burn. <laughs> <laughs> I just think I used to bounce you on my knees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still a while, will you, Billy? I got to go pick up some shotgun shells. Coyotes getting pretty bad lately. Ah, uh, there are always coyotes to smoke out, Mr. Reed. Yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> Your dad sure looks fine. Been doing pretty well for himself? Yes, with the ranching business, but... Something bothering you? Well, yes and no. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but... But what? Well, Dad's trying to mortgage part of the acreage. Does he... does he need the money? No. Well, that doesn't make sense. Well, I know it doesn't, but Dad won't listen to anybody except a man named Fuzzy Q. Jones. Fuzzy Jones? Oh, well, now I understand. The gold mine in the sky. You don't mean to tell me he's going to invest in that. Well, he's not the only one. Everyone in town seems to be walking around with their eyes closed. There's something wrong. I just know it. I think that way myself, but I can't... can't figure it out. Well, the whole trouble is that Fuzzy has foretold and predicted some very wonderful things. He told Luke McGovern where to find a pocket of gold. And he even told Dad to ship his cattle to Dodge City for a better price. Oh, well, that, that could have been a coincidence. Got to get back to the spread, Billy. Ride out for supper sometime. Welcome anytime. Maybe I'll do that, Mr. Reed. I could help you hunt down some of those coyotes. Sure, glad to have you. Come on. Bye. 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 Hey, Billy. 
Oh, wait a minute. I want to talk to you. What about? I'm busy. Oh, I've been figuring things out, and we've been pals too long to fight over anything. Oh, that's great, Fuzzy. I knew you weren't as stupid as you pretended. Now, tell me all about this mining property. Where is it? Tell me all about it. Uh, I hadn't ought to, but, uh... You plenty smart. Go get money quick. But don't tell Billy Costner. He gummed things up bad for you. No. I can't do it, Billy. You, you just gotta have faith in me like everybody else. Oh, Fuzzy, are you absolutely loco? No, I, uh... Hey, wait a minute. I'm psychic. I, I, I'll prove it to you. Uh, hey, mister, come here. Now, uh, I, I predicted this. I didn't mean to honest, but I did. Uh, I told you you was gonna break your arm, didn't I? Well, tell him about it. Yes, you did, you little squirt. And the next time you start fooling around with my future, I'm gonna take... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, but I can't help it. Haven't I seen you someplace before? I don't think so. I'm from Texas myself. Uh, tell me, stranger, is this all he says it is? Well, sure it is. Here's the proof. I broke my arm once myself. Pain you very much? Well, sure. It's pretty sore. It hurts like the dickens. You know, I, uh, I don't usually carry my sling so low. I carry it up a little higher. You see, makes it... You didn't break your arm. You're just fooling. I, I never knew a fellow with a busted arm could fight like that. Get smart, Fuzz. His arm's not broken. Uh, I sprained it pretty bad, didn't I? Yeah, uh, why'd you pretend it was busted? Because Fuzzy predicted it? Well, he said I was going to break my arm. And I sprained it. That's close enough, eh? Uh, you see there, uh, Billy, I'm right. Fuzz, I'd like to talk to you alone. Uh, nothing doing. I ain't answering no questions. All right, suit yourself. Hey, uh, Mr. Finner. I hope you ain't mad at me. No, I ain't mad at you. But I'll get him. Uh, then you will sell me your claim? Sure, if you get the $50,000, and soon. Oh, mister, I'm going to predict that you get $50,000 all of a sudden. That's just the kind of a prediction I like, pal. Uh, Hello, Miss Kitty. <laughs> you got yourself loaded down. <laughs> Let me help you. Been shopping? Slightly. Actually, I'm waiting for Dad. He's up finishing his business with Mr. Wilson. Oh, you mean about getting his loan? Yes, and I'm so terribly worried. I know he's going to turn it over to Fuzzy Jones. I better have a talk to him. I wish you would. Oh, here he comes now. He's awful honorary, though. Howdy, boy. Hi, uh, Mr. Reed, I, I hope you don't mind my butting in. But I don't think I'd turn any money over to Fuzzy. Why? I don't know for sure, but I have an idea that somebody's dealing from the bottom of the deck. Yeah? What proof you got? I don't know. I saw Nord Finner talking to a couple of hoodlums. I wouldn't trust as far as I could throw my horse. Well, what's Nord Finner got to do with it? Well, maybe nothing. But he was pretending he had a broken arm to, well, to make Fuzzy's predictions look good. You mean to say he didn't really break his arm? No, not at all. He was faking. Huh. That's something to think about. I think I'll drive out and see Fuzzy this afternoon. Fine. Bye, Mr. Reed. Bye. Bye, Kitty. Bye, Billy.
Wait a minute. You stay here. You a message for me today? Answer me, Standing Pine. I am here. Today is your lucky day. You collect all money from people. Give to man a mountain of gold. Hurry up. Everything. Hold it, you. Keep quiet, turn around and start rolling. What's the meaning of this? You found out a little too much. Now get on your horse and head for town. Get moving. If he gets to showdown flats ahead of us, he'll blow everything right up in our face. Who says he's gonna get to showdown flats? You know what to do. Yeah. Come on. Why'd you kill Reed? I don't know what you mean. You know what I mean. And you might tell me what this little game is with Fuzzy Jones. I never heard of him. You better start hearing right now. All right, take it easy. I'll talk. I better make it straight. Talk fast. Well, we rigged up a little trick in Fuzzy's storeroom to make him think he was psychic. 
What has the Emery and Finner got to do with it? I ain't saying. Oh, well, I'll find out myself. Come on. You ain't taking me in for no killing. No, not yet. Come on. You see, Joe, I just want to make sure you don't share our secret with anybody. I'll be back later for you. You won't get away with this. No. You're here, aren't you? Say, partner, you wouldn't know where Mr. Wilson was at, would you? I sure would. You want to know? Yeah. Yeah, if you don't mind. Well, Tom Wilson's where I'd be now if I wasn't broke. Where's that? Where everybody else is that's got cash money. At Fuzzy Jones's? That's right. They're fixing the deal right now, I reckon. Much obliged. Sure. That's right, Mr. White. Here you are, 4,800, Mr. Jones. That's see now, buddy, that's exactly 40,000, including my own 11. Henny Reed ain't showed up yet. I got him down for 10,000. Well, if he wants to pull out, I'll take his share. Well, I'll remember that, Mr. Wilson. You fellas run along. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Signed and sealed, you'll really see something. <laughs> That's mine. Right. That's all right, buddy. Take care of yourself. Uh, uh, you're saying, you're right, Jonesy. Who's saying you're All right, do your stuff. Why don't we just take it away from him? Shut up. He'll take the rap, not us. to do with cash? Gee, what a good sheep, uh, How did you know I got the money so soon? Me see all, know all. You be smart. You do what I say. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, I'll do just as you said. Grant's all over. That is all. I'll meet you at the horses. Right. I didn't expect you so soon. Well, I didn't expect to come here either. But something told me I should. Uh, was it a voice? Why, yes, I guess it was. Uh, did he say anything else? Well, no. No, nothing. Well, that's good. Huh? I, I mean, uh, well, <laughs> how are you? Well, I'm in a mighty fine mood to sell my property. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't go through with it. I thought you were Henry Reed. What do you mean? Well, uh, you said 50,000, and I've only got 40. Now, listen, partner, I'm going to do the right thing by you. I'll take the 40000 and we'll call it a deal. You mean it? You give me the money and I'll give you the deed. 
It's all right here. I'll count it for you. Never mind. I trust you. Here's your deed, all sealed and signed. Gee whiz. Uh, thanks, mister. So long, partner. Mm -hmm. I'll be seeing you. Hey, uh, Standing Pine. Standing Pine. Yeah, everything worked out just like you said. <laughs> From now on, the Fuzzy Q. Jones Company owns Stone Mountain. Hey, how does this look to you? It's in the bag. All right, let's get out of here. Hey, look, who's that? It looks like the sheriff to me. Well, come on. Howdy, Fuzzy. Ah, uh, Sheriff. Can't make any predictions today. <clears throat> Think that, Fuzzy. This is my savings, and I want to get in on your proposition. Shut up! Shut up! What was that? I didn't hear nothing. Shut up! There it is again. I still don't hear it. Hey, one of us is crazy. Hey, it must be you, Sheriff. Run the story! What happened? Who tied you up? Got a fuzzy spirit? Oh, uh, they couldn't have done it. No. Look up there. That's how they worked it. One of the gang disguised their voice, and you fell for it. Holy cow, that's it. Was I stupid? Now you convinced you've been bamboozled? You mean the gold deal was a fake? Why, certainly. Yeah, but I got the deed. It's not worth the paper it's written on. No? Hey, that fellow's got all the money, $40,000. It's gonna go be pretty tough for you unless you make good. How long has he been gone? Oh, only a few minutes. Well, what are we waiting for? I, I, I gotta get that money or they'll string my neck. Billy Carson, and he starved to death. You sure tied him up for keeps, Nord. And I'm sort of worried about Joe Dayton. Well, if we don't meet up with him, we'll split the money. No one seems to be trailing us. I guess we can take it easy from now on. Sure. We'll be across the state line in no time now. Joe. Yeah. Go ahead and answer him. Hey, Joe! Where are you? Yeah, over here. Come on, get me out of this. I'm glad you fellas showed up. I was beginning to give up hope. Well, how'd you get in this jam? Well, Bennett Carson grabbed me after I knocked off Reed. Said he'd be back after me later. Well, he won't be back. We took care of him and got the money, too. Good. Just the same, I'd feel better if we had more miles between us. Let's go.
Well, they haven't been gone very long, I can tell you that. They'll probably head through the South Tooth Canyon. Well, maybe we can head them off. I know a shortcut. Smart brother Q Jones, eh? Selling a lot of worthless property. Well, what are you talking about? It was all done according to law. You got a deed? I got the money. Oh. Now get up. I think there's a lot of towns people don't want to talk to you. Now get on that coyote of yours. Give up, Emily. Come out with your hands up. You want me? Come and get me. Keep busy, Sheriff. some prisoners. All right, get him in. There's been trouble of some kind. Maybe they tried to hijack our gold. Lock him up, Charlie. Okay. What happened? Well, wait a minute, 
it, boys. Everything is all right. Well, that's right. We knew we could trust you. Now, when can we see the property? Yeah, that's what we want to see. Uh, well, uh, uh, oh, shut. you tell them, Billy. Well, gentlemen, you and Fuzzy are victims of a swindle. There isn't any gold in Stone Mountain. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't get excited. Fuzzy said that everything was all right, and it is. Here's your money, every cent of it. What about the fortune we're supposed to make? Yeah, what about our profit? Just a minute, gentlemen. You ought to be glad to get your money back. Put it in my bank, and it'll always be safe. That's right. We didn't lose nothing anyway. I think we owe Fuzzy a vote of thanks. I'm not so sure about that, Mr. Wilson. Sheriff, what do you propose to do with his hombre here? He started all this trouble. Turn him loose. He's a friend of yours, ain't he? I never saw him before this mess in my life. Hey, now, Billy, you, you can't pull that on me. That's the truth, Sheriff. Well, I guess we'll turn him loose anyway. Isn't there a law in this state against uh, fortune telling? Come to think of it, there is. Uh, that'll get you about 30 days. Uh, holy cow, holy, oh, you can't do this to me. Pardon me, gentlemen, where can I find Mr. Wilson? About I'm Mr. Wilson. My name's Graham. I represent the railroad company. Our engineers have made a survey, and I'm here to arrange for a roadbed ballast. I see. To make it brief, I'd like to purchase Stone Mountain from whoever owns it, and I'm willing to go as high as 150,000 bucks. <laughs> Hooray! I'm psychic! I'm psychic! Ah! Hey, Fuzzy! Fuzzy, where are you going? I'd rather have another peek in that crystal ball! <laughs> <laughs> 